Hau dau! I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. Now, in this video, we're going to be using some water-based stains. We're going to use orange and red on the strap part of this body, and we're going to use some black spray paint to go right the way around the edge to give us that beautiful sunburst look that's so common and so famous on a Fender Strat. We're also then going to cover it with some lacquer uh, to give it that finish that we can then go scrubbing at it later on. Now, since we last met, I have done lots of sanding. I've also created the jack hole that we need, because apparently that's quite important. I've done a little bit more sanding, and then I've rounded over the edges, and then did a little bit more sanding. Oh, it's very exciting. So today we need to crack on with those stains and sprays, and let's just dive in, shall we? So before I get any stain on, Right, what I really need to do is mask off these edges um, to try and make sure that they don't get stained because I want those to be pristine white when we're done. I don't really want any different tinges of colours underneath. Try and get all the masking tape right the way down to the edge. Try and protect that as best we can. Well, that took a little longer than expected. Lots of fiddly bits in there. Trying to reach through on the insides of all of those little feather edges. And then we've got to try and fit the stain and everything inside of there as well. Oh, this could be fun. Right, so yeah, I've tried this a few different ways. And the best way I can find is to just get the, the orange dye to begin with and cover all of it. Once that's set, then go around your edge with the red and then edge it that off again with the black. So I've just got some folded tissue paper um, and literally just going to put that on. Probably should be wearing gloves, otherwise I'll get some orange fingers. But never mind, we'll just have to live with it. Don't need to go around the edges because that's going to be covered in spray paint. that to dry and then we can come back and do the red edging to get that nice sunset color now the red stain uh, covers uh, about half this thickness here so from the from the bridge to the edge that red staining starts to come in from about halfway so that means I can take that thickness and, and look around here I've got a little bit of that I can put in um, I can do all around there, not that there's any point because it's going to be under the pit guard, but we will anyway. And again, that thickness, half of that little section, it's not going to cover any of that area through there. Maybe a smidge of that, and then that top edge. Um, again, a lot of what we're doing here is just going to be totally covered by the pit guard anyway. But let's do it because that's what we should be doing. Uh, right, okay, so same technique again, folded up section of thing, give it a good soak. Um, and then work yourself in. So just push it on from there. It's quite thick, isn't it? You can thin that out, don't worry. That's real thick and it's given us a, a very harsh line, but that's okay. Because right, what we can do now is get another piece of tissue. I'm going to start blending those two in just using water because it's a water based stain. And just take this little pot of mucky water that I've got here and just start fading those in a little bit like this. 
take some of that startling red out of it as well. Just spreads it around a little. And hey, the thing with this is if you put it on and you go, oh no, I really, really don't like that, you just sand it off and do it again. Okay, so no real trauma. So there's parts of this where you first put it on and you go, ah, it's way too much. And we panic. But it's all fixable. Everything's fixable. Don't worry, pet, as they'd say up here in the northeast. Right, time for some spraying then. Um, now, I am no spray paint expert. I'm not Brad Angrove, okay? I'm, I'm not built like the Hulk for one. Um, but I think, you know, when you're getting spray cans, you'll try a few different brands. Some of them are dreadful, okay? And they'll just look like you're flicking paint on with a brush. It's horrible. Um, this one seems to be quite good, this Rust-Oleum. Um, see if you can get a, a can of that. It seems to come out quite fine, quite nicely. I'll put a link in the description if you can't find any locally. Um, and that seems to, to put us in good stead for a decent spray job in the first place. Same with your lacquers as well. Um, just try things first. Always do test pieces. So I, I grabbed a block of wood and did some test stuff for stains, for sprays, for lacquers, and for other little tips and tricks that will come in later on. Um, so today it really is all about getting the, the colours right. Okay, so we're going to try and get this almost finished new strat to begin with. Um, but still thinking about the old stuff as we go through. So that's the next task is to get the black spray uh, and to do that nice little blend around the edges. Now, I like to spray away from the guitar. So having the can above the body and then spray that edge away from it. This gives us tiny little particles of black that then settle on top of the body. And what this does is it dulls off the color and gives us a nice antique look once the lacquer has been applied over the top. Getting in those little nooks without affecting the blend was a little tricky. So before I put the lacquer on, um, I probably should have masked this bit off, shouldn't I really, but never mind. we'll do that for the lacquer. Um, I'm just looking at this crack that we have, uh, that we definitely wanted to keep, didn't we? Um, and there's lots of black spray paint has gone into there, and obviously on real time stuff, that crack would happen after the black spray, so I'm just going to go in with the knife and just see if I can get rid of the black spray paint that's gone inside that crack. Um, so it stands out a little bit more. I actually want that crack to stand out. Um, even trying to follow some of these areas down here as it goes through, just kind of picking at it a little bit. There we go. So we've got a fresh crack in there that's happened after the spray job. Lovely. Right. Well, there we go. It's now time for the lacquers. Um, I've not used this type before. Um, other than on my little test piece, and it seemed to work quite nicely. Um, this, this is where your finished guitar will quite often win or lose. Um, thankfully, I'm doing a rustic approach, um, so it's okay. I'm not a perfect sprayer by any stretch of the imagination. If you want a pristine gloss finish, um, I certainly wouldn't be using lacquers. I much prefer using oils, and you can coat those through and polish them up and get a really nice finish with those very easily. I do find spray cans that little bit trickier, but for this guitar, it's just got to be done for this middle section. Uh, the advice is just, you know, read the can. Uh, thin coats, 10 to 15 minutes in between intervals, certainly for this spray can. It might be different on the one you've bought. Check the label and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. Mm. 
Now we'll point out here, doors wide open, lots of open windows, lots of ventilation. Have a mask over your face, this stuff is not nice. Something I'll point out uh, while I do this spray, notice that the guitar isn't hung up. Whenever you see most people spray a guitar, it's hung from the rafters and dangling around. Well, I've got a massive advantage because of these big fat wings. It means I can spray it, I can leave it flat, I can even turn it over and spray the other side. And this isn't going to touch anything. <laughs> so there we go. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. Um, We've got the stain on, we've got the spray on, we've got the lacquer on. And it all looks really rather nice. It catches in the light a little bit. Um, so all we need to do now is wait for that lacquer to really go hard. It might be dry and it's not sticky, but it's not hard yet. So we need to let that go off and cure properly. And then we can start scraping it and sanding it. If we tried to do that now, it would just kind of fudge up and roll and smudge around a little bit. Wouldn't be very good at all. Uh, but I'm rather, pl rather pleased with that. Um, now then, if we wanted to leave it as a full gloss finish, well, no, it wouldn't be anywhere near good enough. You'd want to be sanding down, I think, in between coats. Um, having said that, from this point, it would also get a thorough polishing as well. Um, again, once that lacquer is really, really hard. But we're not going to do that. We're going to actually dull things down. We're not going to take it down to a total matte finish. Uh, but maybe a satin, something like that. Right, well, if you want to see what happens next, and we're so close to getting the carving chisels out, I'm so excited. Uh, if you want to catch those, make sure you click the subscribe button, tweak that little notification bell to make sure you're aware of when one video comes out. Smash the like button for me. Leave some comments down below. I'm really loving reading all of your comments. They're so kind. Thank you very much. Um, and until next time, go and sharpen your tools, and I'll see you soon. God bless.